Ha-ha! Welcome back to another episode of I Got My Pop. Today, episode I'm dedicated to the city of Miami. Well, a lot of y'all don't know, Palm Beach and Broward County also is a part of Miami. A couple years ago, they split it all up, you know, for money purposes, probably. But Miami got a lot of history behind it. I was watching a girl doing a blog the other day. She went over there to Brown Sub area and she was showing the graveyard on 46 and how the how the um the tombs was coming out of the ground and sitting on top of the ground and she went by the hotel where all the black uh people used to go stay at back in those days and she went to the poker bean projects and when she was in the poker bean projects she didn't mention the fact that me luke and betty wright grew up in the poker bean project i was like maybe she didn't know maybe she's telling a story she telling a story for somebody else I mean, maybe she lived in Miami, but I ain't doing it. I ain't doing all that. I'm going ghetto style. I ain't doing that. Maybe she lived in Miami, but it do she know Miami? You know what I'm saying? And she went through town, but she was right by the graveyard in 46, and she ain't go by the flats. She ain't go nowhere near Brown Sub Projects. So I, 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 I didn't quite understand that. And then she, on her way to the Poker Bean Project, she rode by 6th oh, 61st and 58th Terry. And she ain't mentioned the, the historic, uh, you know, memories and values of that. So, you know, I, I appreciate what the young lady was doing, but she wasn't telling enough of the story. And what I like to do is tell a lot of the story without giving y'all, without giving y'all too much, because hopefully, We'll do us some docu-series and, and movies and, and, and mini-series or whatever we have to to show the history of Miami. But trust me, it won't be like a lot of the shit that y'all been watching and y'all grew up watching. A lot of those belly movies and American Gangsters and, and you know, and New Jack City. Those movies glorify rats. We don't glorify rats. We exterminate rats. We grew up with roaches in Miami, Dade County. We do not, we do not harvest rats. We, we hate rats. And I'm not giving rat a, a day, a platform or nothing. Before I ever entered the music scene, I was a big fan of music because the culture of Miami has always been dancing. That's right. A lot of songs y'all made on the West Coast and East Coast that y'all didn't even know, they was hit records down here. And we made y'all records be what they was. Because without us, as fans first, you never had a hit record. Without our DJs playing your music, your music was just a beat produced by whoever made the beat. So what we did, we made a dance to every song. Hold on, that's a little ghetto. Let me turn my phone off. Hey, I'm recording right now. You have to call me back. It's a bad time. I don't like that. Like I was saying. And please, when y'all edit that, don't edit that out. It's very important that. Because when I be going live on Facebook, as soon as somebody see me on live on Facebook, they act dumb and go to call on my phone. Boy, I see you on Facebook, yeah. Now you just muted the damn video, dummy. Hell you calling me for a little boy. But what we did was we made a dance off of every song that we liked. And, and everybody will credit New York City for being the founder of hip hop. I'm gonna give you that. Matter of fact, anything you want, I'm gonna give you. I respect everybody, every coast. I respect every man, every woman. I respect everybody mind, everybody opinion. So when I give my opinion, you need to check me or respect me as well. They say that the West Coast was the originated, the original home of the 808 base. They say Texas, Houston, to be 
specific was the home of this chopped and screwed. You, I'm gonna give you that because we called this something else. I'm gonna give them the 808 base because we called it we call it base checking. We call it that get down, that funk. If you bought a record that was from down south, whether it was a DJ record, our mixtapes wasn't us giving away our rap lyrics. Our mixtape was us taking y'all rap lyrics, EQing it, put having Disco Dave put that epicenter on there and EQ that thing. When you put it in the car, it's it's it's, it's what we call funking. That's what we did to hip hop. A lot of people came to Miami after the, the early 80s because of the movie Scarface. One of my favorite movies, by the way. But I want to let y'all know, Scarface don't tell the whole story. If the story need to be told, it need to be told by like real pioneers of Miami. Real, real people of Miami that actually did for the community, that's still doing for the community, and that's still representing the community. Y'all don't know what I'm making. I'm making cunk salad right here. Yeah, I'm making some cunk salad because my next guest is a real Miami boy, and I just want to make him feel at home. You know what I'm saying? But the movie Scarface did not tell y'all the whole story. It showed y'all a bunch of Cubans that defected from Cuba, that were kicked out of Cuba, I might say, during the time of uh, the trade embargo, man. The trade embargo with Cuba. And Castro was being punished, and Castro decided he wanted to flush the toilet on the United States. By doing so, he said all the criminals, all, everybody who was uh, diseased and infested, everybody that was in the hospital, sick, the homeless, the poor, he sent them to Miami. And like always, we, we open our arms and welcome. So you see a movie called Scarface, and it shows Al Pacino playing Tony Montana. And it shows him making all the money, driving all the fancy cars, taking all the sacrifices. But it don't show the black folks. It don't show the, it don't show the big nose bars and the boat dillies. It don't show the Murphs, the Burks. It don't show the, the John Doe's, the Gilliard, the Graveyard Gang, the Tutu Al, the Untouchables. It don't show Overtime with Bucky Brown and Vonda. It don't show Coconut Grove. It don't show Ghouls. It don't show Homestead of Florida City and P. Ryan. It don't show Naranja. It don't show the Poker Bean Project, the Village. It don't show Scott Projects, Vice Side, Home Team Side, Dog Country Side. It don't show that. It don't show the black folks who started selling drugs as a way to survive in a poverty stricken city that around the time that we had no assets, we wasn't allowed to go on what you guys call South Beach. The only black people that was on South Beach was maids, butlers, and cooks. Oh yeah, I'm talking that shit. I'm talking that shit right now. If you ain't subscribed, go and subscribe now. I'm talking that shit. I'm gonna tell y'all the whole story. Keep it locked right here. I got my pop. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddies. I got my pots. Here are the top five highest selling City Girl singles of all time in the United States. Number five, Jobs. It was released on June 5th, 2020, and it went gold on January 25th, 2022. And I don't work jobs, I am a job. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. And it's not on you, it's in you. And that music video was shot at Trick Daddy's restaurant in Miami, Sunday's Eatery. Number four, Twerkulator. It was released on May 21st, 2021, and it went gold on October 18th, 2021. And initially, this song wasn't cleared by the rights owners of the original song, Percolator by Cashmere. After being leaked online, the song began to gain popularity after fans made it go viral on TikTok, dancing to a snippet of JT's verse from the song. 
When I do my dance, money fights, these bands, JTI playing, Lil B I don't want your man, and these rich on paper. Now it's time for the circulate back that ass up. Let's focus. <laughs> the numbers went so crazy that a few months later, it was a full song that was released, and the video was directed by the legendary Missy Elliott. Number three, P Talk featuring Doja Cat. It was released on June 26, 2020, and it went platinum on January 25th, 2022. This track came off of their third studio album, City On Lock, which contains other hits such as Flued Out featuring Lil Baby, Rodeo, Winning, and That's My <laughs> Number two, Twerk featuring Cardi B. It was released on November 16th, 2018, and it went platinum on August 15th, 2019. And the Twerk That Shake That song is a track that is sampled from Chopper Style. The song also coined the term flued out by Young Miami. When she was promoting the Twerk Challenge, telling women that they would get flown out to be in the music video if they won. Instead of saying flown out, she said flued out. People laughed, then it became a catchphrase in Instagram culture, taking on a whole new meaning. Now to get flued out means a baller flies a girl out to him to spend some money on her. Number one, act up. It was released on April 1st, 2019, and it went three times multi-platinum on April 22nd, 2021. And while JT was locked up, her voice can be heard all over the internet any given day. Real ass, give a f about a big Birkin bag, hoe, fast six figures, you know. This is still one of the City Girls' most popular songs today, obviously by the sale. But they did face controversy about ghostwriting. After Lil Yachty went on an interview claiming that he had written the song for the City Girls. And like Cardi B, Young Miami did not shy away from the ghostwriting accusations, owning it proudly at the time, even putting Yachty in the music video. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on individual song sales in the United States. Facts, courtesy of the RIAA. What artist would you like to see a top five on next? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara and this has been another top five on Trick Daddy. I got my pot. Welcome back to I Got My Pops. Today I'm giving y'all the story on hip hop. And the last thing I was telling y'all is how black folks wasn't allowed to go on South Beach. We were stuck in the neighborhoods, we were stuck in the ghetto, we were stuck in the inner cities. Our Bell Harbor was called USA Flea Market. Our Gucci store was called Zares. Our publish was Win Dixie or Pantry Pride or Georgia Jerry IGA, depending on what neighborhood you live in. Our, flea, our filet mignons with chicken wings, chicken backs, and chicken gizzards. All the throwaway parts, majority of the throwaway parts. The one of the one of the best meals in the ghetto was the pork sauce. Pork sauce was made up of all the pig parts that only the poor black people was allowed to eat. But we turned it into a hell of a meal. When they was talking about those, when they made that movie Scarface, they forgot all my homeboys' mamas that got addicted to crack cocaine. They forgot about all my homeboys' daddies that got sentenced to 50, 100 years in a life sentence for surviving. They forgot to show that if you could bring 1,000 kilos into Miami, then who the hell was selling them? They ain't tell that part of the story. That's the part of the story I want to tell y'all. But like I say, a rat story would not be televised from nowhere near me. I don't play that. Shout out to all the boys doing time in the county jail, federal penitentiary, state penitentiary, all the ones that doing life in the graveyard. Rest in peace. Sleep well, my brothers. We had this thing called Loyalty, honor, and respect. We had this thing where the women and children were left out of the beef and the foolishness. We had these times where if you ain't like a you ask them for a fade. That's a one-on-one -on -one fight. That's what we grew up on. That's what we stood for. And we stood on that. 
I respect every seat I go to. I just believe in my heart and know in my mind, ain't no other city like the city where I'm from. You rarely see somebody from Miami leave Miami to go stay somewhere else. Well, a lot of the girls that's a lot of the girls that's rehabbing, and I ain't talking about no, I ain't talking about off drugs either. I'm talking re recovering the months that's going to Atlanta, trying to start all over. Can't ro can't roll the miles back on your sex life, baby. Making that crack cunt. Dade County staff. I know y'all watching me. I want to tell a story about growing up, eating the little cherries on the trees, but they, what you, they say, if you eat them, they say if you eat them, it pours, it's gonna kill you. Growing up in a city where, if you've been into a guava, you can't bite hard, cause you gotta make sure no worms wasn't in it. In a time and era in a city where mangoes was only ripe during the summertime. I go in a damn grocery store now in December and they selling mangoes. Mangoes has a season. Where they do that at? I come from a time and era in a struggle where when we wanted to get out the game, they wouldn't let us get out the game. And if we made it out the game, they put us back in the game. I'm from that era, I'm from that struggle, from that walk of life. I remember in the 80s, a typical Christmas day concert was headlined by the Two Live Crew. And I don't care who else you had there. Before Script Plus, we had a thing called Skin to Win. This better, this better sink in. Because they don't give us our credit and our flowers for a lot of things. A lot of the words that, that y'all use now, like, that's a Miami word. And ladies, be careful when you're talking to me. Yeah, I'm so Miami. If you call me after 12 at night and you say I'm on my way over there and I ask you who you with, you say your girlfriend, I'm going to take me and sit down back. I think I'm having a threesome. Girlfriend mean girlfriend. So you got to be careful when you're talking to me. I'm from the area where the old coons the old D-boys in the hood controlled the streets. When dope was lovely, when it was plentiful, there wasn't no senseless murders and, 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 and shooting innocent people, getting shot, innocent bystanders, because they was making money on those blocks. You had to respect those blocks. We didn't need the police on those blocks. When crack made it back to the urban areas, when crack made it back to, to the areas outside of the urban areas, when crack made it back to the suburbs, when the politicians and they churn and they husbands and wives became addicted to drugs, the crack law became a black law. And that's what we fell off at. When you start sentencing, a man to 10 years of life for surviving, that's when we fell off. When you start a community called The Projects, and, and trust me, that's exactly what it was, The project. When you start a community called The Projects, where the parents, the mama, had to raise the young men and women by themselves with no man in the household. That's where our downfall came in. That's when we started self-destructing. Now this right here is chicken sauce. I'm gonna make this chicken sauce 
because I know my next guest going to love it. And I'm, a, I'm representing Miami. But I'm talking to, I'm giving you education of real Miami, the, the actuality of the whole thing. When, when our D-boys pay for our football leagues, our basketball leagues, when our D-boys pay for the kids' school clothes, pay for the little girls to get their hair done, told me I need to get home, it's getting late. And if my mama come looking for me, what they was gonna do to me. Made me understand that if you were four or five years older than me, you was auntie or uncle. And if you was 10 years older than me, I said, yes, ma'am, and no, sir. I'm a real Dade County D-boy. I'm a real dunk rider, a dunk daughter. I was born, bred, and raised in Miami, Dade County, Jackson Memorial Hospital. And I'm talking that shit. Keep it locked right here. Oh, I got my pot. Welcome back to another episode of I Got My Pops. If you ain't subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. If you're ever in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area, make sure you come by Sunday's Eatery. We all on Google, we all everywhere. We on Instagram, Sunday's Eatery, Instagram. We everywhere. You can get you a Sunday's meal six days out of the week because on Tuesday we are closed. Sunday seasoning, that's right. The Sunday Soul seasoning is also available again online. Google that or go to sundayseatery.com and order your Sunday seasoning right now. If I'm not mistaken, we got a special going on for free shipping. It might be over, might not be. Just check it out. What I was talking about earlier is the state of Miami-Dade County. And what a lot of people don't know is Miami-Dade County, we are not only known for drugs. We have never been a gang-infested town. We got cliques and posses. The territory and areas. We got our own swag. One of the only places in the world that ever rocked the Eminem boots. The only place where when we call, what y'all call dreadlocks, we call them wicks. Well, real street dudes never got a, never got their beard or their mustache trimmed and never combed their hair. One of the original that told y'all about Miami Dade County. My big brother, somebody who I looked up to, somebody who I know every last one of his albums, unless he put out one last night I didn't know about. Y'all give it up and help for and help me show some love to the guys of himself, Mr. JT Money. <laughs> Jay one, brother. What's up, brother? What they do? Ready to eat something? Ready to eat something I, good? I've been, I been talking to him, Jay. Mm -hmm. I've been schooling him. First of all, I'm gonna give you your flowers. Yeah, you give them scriptures, though. I'm gonna give you your flowers. You are one of the first ones that made me think that it was cool for a street dude to do rap music. Check. Because I knew the dudes who you were rolling with. I was confused, but I was like, how is he from Garrett City and he hanging on 15th down? How, how did that go by? Listen now, that through that music, we made the streets able to do this. Oh, okay. The streets was divided before Poison Clan music. Okay. Think about it now, because we mess with them, mess with them. Yeah. But we all mess with that music. And you stayed in different parts of Miami. Yeah, like me. we started in the city, went over town, then went to Cass City, went back over town, went to Overlock, then went to North Miami, then went back to New Orleans. And you know, now I'm here, baby. You was, in, you was in the New Orleans area around the town with a shopper posse. Yeah, that's what the dreads, the dreads. Yeah. And all this was going on, this was around the era when, when people used to hide from Jehovah Witnesses coming to the door. <laughs> yeah. With yeah. the final, with the, uh, with, 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 not the final not the call, but something towel. The, the watch towel. The watch towel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was when yeah. only the real OG Haitians was proud to be Haitian. Right. Boy, you remember when them yeah. when, when, when my Haitian boy them yeah. used to when Jeannie yeah. Boy and, right. and Jack and, right. and, 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 and little Marvin uh, right. Marvin uh, Marvin McKay them used to tell them, boy, y'all better say y'all Haitian and be proud. Right. Be like proud what, what's right, wrong right, with y'all? Right, right, right. Check. Check. This right. was way Yeah. This was when the area where Ben Yahweh had Bought up the whole 60 seconds. Bought up, y'all. Everything was white. Everything, Everything was, white. was white. He had a grocery store across the street with a food stamp off. Everything was white. 
this is when Dubai was mistreating his old. Dubai, chat. That don't know some shit. That was no scripture, y'all. This when Dubai was mistreating his old. I made this Miami Cup salad. I already know. I'm just I made this Miami Cup salad. So we, a, we can talk and eat though, right? Yeah, that, that's, like that's how we want it. We want okay. to say we ghetto family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uncivilized. Yeah, we ghetto man. family. This when this when they used to have the battle of the DJs. Check. And this, all right. This here, no one's talking to nobody. When they said that Master P was the first brother to ever do an independent record label i i would not say that they was wrong i just say that they wasn't completely informed yeah they wasn't but what because you mean all first? our d boys had record, record label. label yeah everybody had label what you mean he was the first though that's what that's what the people say master p he was, was the first one to get a deal from them people from the made 80 percent okay. of his stuff but these put out 100 percent and collected 100 percent you know what i'm saying whether we sold 20,000 or 200,000. It was like always that. some money involved. Right, 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 check. Luke Records, who? Right. Luke distributed his own shit, man. What was that? Luke Records sold his own merch. Yeah, that bitch just popped. Distributed his own records. Did everything in house. Conversation extra, y'all. I came for the food, man. My mm-hmm. is possible. Jack, all right, coming back to the story. <laughs> Luke Records, not only did Luke Records did something that Miami never saw, he was in the hood with it. Right, definitely. In the streets with it, started out as a DJ. Definitely. Got dudes from New York. Got dudes from the West Coast. Yep, sign them. Got different dudes like Society and Professor Grills. Mm-hmm. Had female rappers back in the days when female rockers wasn't big right. on the on the gangster street shit. Right. Throw the pee girl, ankle had to throw the pee girl. RB. On the rap level. RB. A sound. He was on. I got a story about that, man. Ron May told me, he said, I found A sound and brought it to him. And he said, I went home and they stayed there and closed the deal. Like, Jay, you don't remember that shit? I'm like, no, I was doing what I was doing. Like, you gotta hit these. I don't remember that story though. Nah, I don't told me that though. Fat Joe told the story that he he taught me, he got me my deal. I, I, I don't remember that street. story though. I heard that word on the street though. I I I I, uh, I love Fat Joe. Maybe he heard, maybe he remember it wrong. Oh, everybody got their own version of what happened. Or maybe he didn't know that I was already oh, signed. signed. Right, but he thought he influenced that. I mean, whatever. Everybody tell the story, you know. But, but let me tell you one thing. What I know about right. When shit doing good, everybody wanna take credit for it. When shit ain't popping, oh man, I guess that well shit. You understand what I'm saying? When shit popping, that shit don't hit cause I, cause I, cause I, you know? Shit don't hit when when you don't do what they But it was I tell yeah. I tell all the new rappers, stop threatening the DJ. They gonna get your record played. Right, 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 right. Right, check. Make a hot record that, that, that other DJ's play. gonna play. Right. And that DJ gonna like a fool when he don't play it. Right. Check. I'm gonna say stop threatening. Back in the days. <laughs> stop threatening the DJ. T-shirt of the month. DJs. <laughs> Make a hot record. DJ. Back in the days, if I never remember nobody from the East or the West Coast ever Passing the torch or handing the baton to no Southern artists. Nope. Nope. Thanks to Miami and Atlanta, we made them respect our crowd. Right. We got them talking like us, dressing, dressing like, like us. us. Right. Trying to act right. They right. came down to our schools. They went to school with us. Right. Could you, imagine, there, could you imagine me and you going to school on the East Coast with the 12-pack, the rope chain, the dicky, the bubble head club, and the fisherman hat? Up there. We would have had problems, ain't it? 
No, they was going to steal out of pocket. They had to get with it. Come on, man. This is still a real n No matter where he at. And the don't recognize that something different about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not like them. He's different. Right. So it ain't nothing. You may going to have a head. you going to have to with the banana. I just don't like the what did like that say? shit right there. I'm going to drop a dime. Yeah, you're going to have one of those, but they're going to get dealt with. But <laughs> for the most part, the is going to... That guy there is different. Yeah, man. That thing was shit. We came in the game. It wasn't like us. It one thing, I, one thing I knew about Miami dudes, we show love and embrace everybody from right. every walk of life in, in, in the world. Yeah, because we definitely a melting pot. But look, even when I started making records, you know why I started making records, brother? Why that? Because we wasn't being represented properly. Right. That's the reason I even started making, started rapping, because it was like, and you, was had to come, and you had to come off like I did too, off right. a bass record first. Right, I was looking at, it wasn't those type of dudes. Like everything was party and kiki ki and but I grew up that around this some, real, right? Yeah, I grew up around some shit, and you know, and I listen to other records from different places, and it's like they was almost just like some shit like this. Yeah, but we, like, but they ain't like us. Like, yeah, like they was almost there. Yeah, almost there. Like, yeah, some of the first crack babies was my best friends. Right, right, right. It was, mm, damn, almost. So you know, I had to go in there with that shit. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of dudes I think. Never got the they, uh, they, um, total flowers yeah. in respect. Yeah. The game was still young at the time. DMX, he never gave him his credit. Not, not in real life. You know, people like say, oh, DMX was on, on some type of drug or whatever. I was born in the 70s. Everybody right. was on drugs. Right. Doctors, lawyers, preachers. Right. And, and the first time I ever smelled a boot joint or a raw square, it was the old <laughs> who was looking out for us. Check. Check. And they respected the dope game then. It wasn't, they weren't putting fentanyl in the shit. Uh -huh. They weren't putting cut on it. You want to pyaw. Because right. it was so much of it until people had to know where they was going to get it from, that it was authentic, it was right. real, right. it was potent. See, by then, you know. Had it sacks branded and labeled and everything. You know what this was on versus that. Blue Dot. Yeah, right. Mr. Sin. Right. Dope Bill. Clear Jack Black. Jack the Ripper. This stamp, that stamp. Oh, Free Mandela. You don't get that. Right. Right. You don't get that. That's that. that now, when we showed them this, on the doctor said, I talked to Oomp. I talked to Luke. I talked to a lot of our homeboys like Wayne Parker and, mm -hmm. and Piccolo. I talked to a lot of street. I talked to Bub. Bub right. gave me the right to right. control over the John Doe right. story. And he asked me to explore every rat, and I will do that. Check. <laughs> when we get down with all the real go hard at at um at Edie, go over town and holler at Artie Fox. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go holler at all the real dudes and we gonna get the real story. Right. And we're gonna make sure some of the brothers who we mentioned in the store, we're gonna make sure their kids able to eat off. Right, of right, right, right. As it should be. But boy, you got them. That's gonna be a nice little something now. So yeah, you just make sure you call your brother on that one too. I got it. Uh, Jay, you listen, Jay, listen. Well, I can't tell my story without mentioning your story, Jay. They don't know you done been indicted and been to the feds and you done been to state pen yeah. and in the county jail yeah. and the stockade. They don't know that. They don't know you hung with real smackers and real D-boys. I'm talking about with boatloads and carloads of right, 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 They don't right. know that one. Yeah, well, and they, you know, there's some stuff in some records, you know what I'm saying? They don't know you was a throw the D-boy. Original throw the D-boy. Original <laughs> dick slam. <laughs> Take them high from that one now. <clears throat> throw the Boy, so yeah, every, but, for everybody that's tuned in right now, we respect y'all, we love y'all, and and for the city that you represent, don't ever let nobody tell your story or your city. Right, right. Because it's not going, it's, it's never going. Everybody is not going to be satisfied, and the story going to be right. incomplete or uh, uh, falsified. Right, right. See, when I put you in my top five, they say I'm crazy. Why I tell them every time my top five consists of Biggie and Pop, you, Face, and Ice Cube. Listen, that's funny you say that, right? I just told some people, I say, 
It was Cuba was faced with JT Money. I dare you to say something different. I say, I dare you. You know what I'm saying? It's me talking, but. You know, they can't because. But then I say, Pac and Big used to listen to Jay. I knew them. You know what I'm saying? Like. Bro, you know, bro, man, man, man. I bro. seen Luke on FaceTime. Luke was telling him a couple months before Pac got killed, we went and met with Pac and Shug right. after the West Coast uh, right. Down South thing yep. at the Jack the Rapper shit. Right. We met with Shug them in Vegas. I think that's what's it. At the club that they were going right. to. Right. That was Shug right. Club. Right. I think it called 662. Before right. the shit. This was a couple, this one right. Luke was doing a peep show. Excuse right. me, Luke was doing a peep show. I was staying with Luke. Right. We went and met with them. They, man, I'd be surprised. There's a lot of solid brothers out there too that's always been the same. Brad Jordan always been the same. Yeah, you ain't lying though. Snoop Dogg always been the same. Yep, 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 Too yep. Short always yep. been the See, same. Them See, they and always be the same. I gotta get Ball and Z. They ball and MJG. Yeah. Every, every, anything I call them boys for, they dare. Yeah, them boys shot me a record back too the other day. Pretty fire, I'm gonna put it out tomorrow. But it's pretty fire. Uh, can, if it's any just, chance you can send it to me so I can listen to it and confirm how fire it is. Or at yeah, least, it's a uh, chance. Or, 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 or at least when they start singing in the club, I can know the lyrics. Yeah. I, at me after like. you do yours, I'm gonna send you there. You gotta do okay. your first. Uh, give me, give me I'm, that I'm, instrumental. I'm putting, yeah, man, I'm putting one. You know what I'm saying? So I know you know what this is, Jay. Yes, and I've been waiting on it, but I'm gonna keep enjoying this right here. Until this here is, you know what? Let me be see honest. Ball out the bone. We gonna come. I said, who you brought? You got somebody with you today? Who came out here with you, Jay? With me? Yeah. That man ball from the Poor's Clan with me. You now you got, got my team, nephew. You do a mad ball, the heat is on, and you can't turn me off. Him? Yeah. Oh, man, 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 yeah. Mad ball, I get you. Now, here it is. Our rude boy put in the gun. Yeah, man ball, I want action. Man, we're going to get mad ball and CO up here, man. We're going to eat us some chicken side. We're going to pray. We're going to cut it up, chop it up. Shit. And y'all, we're going to get y'all what y'all been asking for, what y'all want. And it takes somebody like me to give it to you. Keep it locked right here till I got my pot. <laughs> Yo, it's your boy Trick Daddy Dollars. I got my boy JT Money right here. The and welcome back to I got my pops. Now Jay, you went to Jack. you went to NMB. Yeah, for about a couple of weeks. Listen, is I that, want. I is want that the era? That's the time when uh, half of Oberlock was going to North Miami. I, I really don't know. So so you, see, from New Orleans, I went to Carroll City. And I went to North Miami Beach, and I tried to go back to New Orleans, but you know, it just didn't work for me. Is this what it's Man, look at man. man. Yeah, we caught we caught him in, in, in New Orleans. At New Orleans, Madrid. I was Madrid. Dread. Dread. That was that was Dread. That what they do? What they do? Good, That's man. for the dread. The dread. Y'all dread was a problem, man. Out of New Orleans. At New Orleans, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was solid man in the field. boys. Yeah. You know, and you know, I was, I was, you know, I was. Um, I ran soccer at PE. Nah, yeah. soccer. Yeah. You, you wasn't a soccer boy. <laughs> we got a we could play outside now. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I get it in. Yeah, for sure. Dread. Get him, Dread. But let me tell y'all something though. Nola had the most delicious women in Dade County. I'm telling you right now. So they say. Mm -hmm. It's some good eating at the New Orleans. Yeah. So they say. I know y'all stayed at other people's school. Y'all stayed at Care City. We shopped there. You was even man. down. You was down south. Right. Head them. You down south to Palm Beach, boy, on the daily. You hear me? And she went. Now she. You talking about man? Now she. No, you know what school he went to. Everybody yeah. think he went to Care City. He was American. a rich boy. American. A rich boy. Of yeah. course. American. Yeah. That's the best part. I didn't think it was a As soon as you said that, American hit me. American. That American. American. Yeah. The bad ones. Hey, the so bad we get to try this food or what not? Man, this is what we gonna do, man. I got okay. this chicken sauce chicken on salad, dick. Man. Okay. I got this chicken sauce on dick. But you gotta person. explain what chicken sauce is, because a lot of people chicken. don't know that's good. Because what chicken sauce is. You know what somebody is. called me with asked me something stupid the other day? They was like, what you busy? I was like, nah, what's up? I need you to give me your recipe to chicken sauce. I said, my phone break it up. I'm gonna call you right now. <laughs> know what I'm crazy? Cause yes. a said that to me. Yeah, tell a trick, I say. And I'm like, yeah, picture that. Picture me calling you on some shit like that. What's the recipe? Yeah. What's the recipe? Yeah. What you put in this? Hey, but you know, again, fans don't give a f 
when the women ask me, how you like this, how you like that, I, I, I tell them, mm-hmm. with a little pee in it. <laughs> hey, give me some pounds, <laughs> y'all. You don't want no chicken salad. <laughs> you want cups, y'all. Hey, Jay, what you cook? What I cook? Yeah. Everything. Hot dogs, you know what I'm saying? Poke beans and mini. You know what I'm saying? Ramen noodles. My kids never go home. Nah, but, nah, but I, I've been graduated from the box. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't too much I can't make, though, you know. But, but I'm on a grill smell. Give me some charcoal. Hey, and hey. A, give me some charcoal, man. I'm hey, hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you one thing about a 70 baby. <laughs> Your mama tell you, if somebody asks you if you want something to eat, you better tell them no. Because if they got some potted meat, some Spam, Vienna sausage, hot dog, bologna, anything at that house, boy, you got something to eat. You got something to eat. You got food. Appreciate it. You got something to eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, we finna get it in, bro. Yes, sir. Bring out the good shit, the fake silver. (laughs) Still silver. I'm gonna get so, started right now. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, we gotta say, we gotta go say great. We gotta say great. We gotta say great. There you go, boy. Where Uzi at, man? Mm. Mm. The real Uzi. Okay. Oh. The original. The original <laughs> Uzi. That boy around the way. He in the church somewhere. Nah, nah, nah. Ram. Big Ram. A oh, Ram in the church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, brother Ram. I want to go to Ram Church because they got to be full of shit. <laughs> I just get they got to be. Them they they got to for them to keep my dog out of the, the mix with us. Yeah, it's something going on in that church. I wouldn't give a damn. Hey man, Mr. Jeff, you gonna, gonna, gonna say who up? That door. Man, man, go ahead and set it up, man. Uh, all right, thank you, Lord, for bringing us here together today on this another episode of Trick. I got my pots. Uh, <laughs> food is good. Yeah. Uh, continue to bless us and give us the next year a better year than this year. Uh, thanks for CEO, Thank JT, and everybody. We love y'all. Thank Coming you. to your city soon. We got our pot. Check. Amen. Because <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, I was 23, about God. to be a good year. I was going to say, God, 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 great. Thank you for the food. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Y'all yes, remember sir. that, though. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, right. though, that's what I came for. Yes, sir. Get your ass off of that. It's hot, too. Oh, this is real good. Yes, sir. Mm. So, Bo. What's up? Don't since we me. on that membership, when the dreads came over. <laughs> Man. <laughs> what y'all was doing? What, you know what they was doing. <laughs> no, no. They were the I'm, first I'm one with the Uzi. Right. Yo, I remember when I just came to America, bro. Uh-oh. The dreads would chain up this shit, bro. I'm saying all the parties getting shot up. They Y'all had the woozies, man. Man, he still got an accent too. Can you hear that? But that what but see, that's what that's the thing. That's what made Poison Clan so raw. Everybody had a different accent. Right, right. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Everybody talked their own dialogue and their own swag yes. in their neighborhood. And Debonair. Right. Debonair yeah, was New York. Yeah. Yeah. Yankee. Yeah, I'm the Yankee. Why was the Yankees over? Everything. Yankee. That burn me. I want a hot dog. Antoine, you can't get none of this. You ain't better get none of this. Bring it against them. I'm gonna need that to go plate though. I got you. Oh, this is amazing right here. Yeah. So Jay, you got a new project coming out. Yeah, man. So I put the band together one last time, brother. You know? Me and Bob Green were talking about doing a, 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 a tape. Doing like an EP or, or, or I don't know, whatever they want to call it. For the fans. For the fans, but crazy. we want everybody who we to get on it. I yeah. think that's just what got to be done, though. Just keep something going, because the fans don't give a damn thing. They just won't. They don't even understand you got this to do today like with some music. Or you, they don't give a and, and, and then, you know, the businesses, when the business are, you know, slinging that shit, slinging this shit. So I figure, you know, just get to them, man. So but you say I, you're going to put the band together. Who that consists of? You, Devonair, Drug, Madball, Uzi? Yeah. 
Yeah, Poison Clan, you know. I got a JT Money project I'm doing, but of course the boys on there. You know, a few features from a few younger artists, you know. I'm still working on that Miami Mount, Mount, Mount Rushmo, though. That's the one I was telling you about, double. Mount Rushmo. Uh-oh, there you go. That's all I need to hear. Trick said he's ready. He's ready. I've been here 15 minutes in the studio. That's what's Check. up. Check. Now, how you made that transition to like Atlanta when you went, you did like the I, 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 I. I'm gonna tell you, I was on that album. Yep. He flew me out for the album release party. I had on security, I had a 10 star hotel. Yeah. <laughs> they was doing it like that. Well, you heard what I just said? Yeah. 10 star. I had a chauffeur for four days, boy. Yeah. I thought I was from Atlanta. Wherever we want. Damn. They say, oh boy, oh they taking care of n yeah, that shit, yeah, all right, right. But, yeah man, that was the beginning. But see, I went to go be close to my money. I yeah. cut a deal with them people. I was sitting down there, I couldn't see. Right. And God, that's what I could see, <laughs> you know? Oh, that's what's it up. It wasn't so much, you know, left the grill, but, you know. You gotta work the dough in, head. duct tape, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, you represented, you so late. Yeah. That was around that time. Trick, you remember I did three verses of that song before Soleil was on it? It was three verses. Mm -hmm. Cause Trick heard it as soon as I did it. Cause no, I was on the road. I was on the road with y'all. When I seen the video, I remember when you did that. When I seen the video, it was like it's a remit. Who was right. Pocahontas? <laughs> Pocahontas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember that. Cause I was like, man, play that song again. Let me hear that song. It's just do like this. I remember the first birthday badge. It was us. You, I think T.I. was on it too? Mm-mm, T.I. -mm. wasn't not like that. Right. Eight Ball, MJG, Eight Tila. Eight Ball, IG. Tila. Crucial Conflict. The first birthday. That's right the time. Uh -huh. I'm the first one that Nelly came to with his CD, and I'm trying to tell you, I want to sign it, but I don't know what to do. And they were listening to it, they were like, man, I don't, I don't know how to set this credit me. I'm like, man, it's going to work. Damn. That shit did 10 million. That probably how uh, to Thought he uh, put your shit out. Man. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. He was like, yeah, I would got that deal. But, mm. man. I didn't know Joe then. Right. That's why I said possible. I knew Pawn. Back then? Yeah. I ain't know nothing, man. You know, I've been the underdog. You know, I've been the underdog since the beginning. You know, I'm all, I think I feel I, I, yeah. I go to certain I, I, I went to certain markets and did interviews for an hour on the radio station. And they said, oh, we're gonna play a single coming up next. And they was like, you got a copy of the single? I'm like, y'all, you got a copy of the single. <laughs> right. you know, you know. I, yeah. I remember they used to laugh at us on the radio. They'd be like, we're gonna play something from that, 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 that from Miami uh, coming up at, at lunch break, lunchtime. But they don't never play. They'd be like, ah. Oh, you gonna play some of that Luke or that? You know, they were trying to make fun of the fast music. Nah, but at that time. Y'all had that street music. Y'all was the right. reason for like, rental cars changing the tags. Remember they used to be the We the reason tags. cars yeah. locked today. Listen, yeah. bro. Yeah. They don't know that. They riding them, 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 them locks standing up here. The boys get out there, huh? That's the reason soon you crank it the lock automatically. They changed the white tag and the Z lap. Yeah, boom. Like a, a big yeah. man. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, he had that man. one gold in the back of his mouth like just go rip. Ooh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's crazy. Man, I appreciate y'all for everything y'all for the plan, dude. Y'all did a lot. I appreciate you, bro. You took the torch and took it to a whole nother level. Now right. we followed y'all okay. blueprint. Okay. It was like, y'all had it. Y'all changed the whole platform of like music because people thought we was just doing music but right. y'all did something totally different y'all was without like, knowing what we're doing we're just doing what felt natural you right. know representing us you know what i'm saying yeah it wasn't about it wasn't no industry it wasn't no format it wasn't no it was us against like everybody else right and y'all went head to head like with yeah. anybody whoever y'all yeah. remember that y'all hear that Check. if y'all represent they represent know. where you from i don't give a here west hill or west buck Right. Represent where you from and stand on it. And you're gonna be able to do what how we do. Right. Go anywhere we wanna go, say anything we wanna say. Mm. And be love. Okay. Hey, until y'all see y'all again, love you.
Go by that Sunday seasoning. And always remember, I got my pot. Ha ha! Good. Now, it's only right we start 2023 off with the guys. I mean, the that I got my pots is only right. What's up, Jay? What's up, brother? What you going to do, man? Rep the crib like we doing an episode, man. You going to rep the crib? Check. Man, you going to give me a hot 16? I'm going to give you a hot 600. Damn. You just stop me when, you, when you're tired of me. Well, let's go. All right. Look here. What you know about thudders and chunks? Peanut butter guts beat down the trunk. 48 cabinets on the block. All the have naked because it's so damn hot. Ghetto style, triple M DJs. Party down, Sugar Hill DJs. Rest in peace, Uncle Al, my nigga. All the boys mission, and we still riding with you. Doing this here for my dogs in the hood. Smoking that good in Dutch or Backwood. Every off on these streets, tote heat. Permanent gold teeth, space funk, pure funk. SM Express, Big Daddy Comp for all my and them heavy Chevys, and all my ladies who lose to stay ready. Convertible Burke, P Man Sam, Ike Bo Dilly, and the Candy Man. When everybody got their goals from Dr. Kelly, when Oscar was grilling them out in Opa Locker, 40 took the good game off the street. When 15 stacks would have bought you a key, for the backwood took out the Fonto Lee. Lumberjack still toes and tell them made kings. Fish hats, them peril silk shirts, Caddy Brown, Chevy Verts, Roller Tech, Bay Station Pack Jam, Studio 183. <laughs> Damn. 22nd Avenue players, gear yards, throw the D-Boys, amazing wizards. Part of the culture, they don't teach you that. So in honor of the crib, I'm going to take it back. Alibaba, 15 Ave, 18 Ave, serving slab, Bunky Brown, over town. If you ain't from around, lay it down. Jam pony in every deck. Disco day, much respect. Manhattan strawberries loose on the beach. Two loud crew, Gucci crew, Clay D. Look here, man. Real Miami. <laughs> Real Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Real money. Real money. You can put that in the Bible. JT Money. Check. Bitch, I got my pot. Got my pot. That part. Check. <laughs>